Hello and welcome to the tutorial how to build a WordPress theme using Headway and Fireworks. My name is Diane and I'm a freelance web designer for the Design Creative and after losing my job four years ago I started to learn about designing sites and now I'm making a living from it and I'm here to show you some tips, some stuff that I learned along the way. Now we're going to be using Headway which is a theme builder for WordPress. They've got a sale on it at the moment of 33% so I'll head over there if, if you can and snap it up as soon as possible and we're also going to be using fireworks cs6 you can get a one-year plan for 46 pounds and 88 dollars uh pounds uh, for, blah, 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 46 pounds and 88 pence per month or you can upgrade from 142 pounds or if you want just quickly download the free trial they got like a 30 day free trial but i would say if you're going to be serious about this industry you have to invest and Adobe Fireworks is the way to invest. Anyway, I got a bit sidetracked there because, uh, yeah, this popped up on my screen. But, um, yeah, this is a, uh, a mock-up I designed uh, using Fireworks. Uh, I don't know if you know of a website called 99 Designs, but I spent about six months of my life on there, and it helped me so much in regards to designing. So head over there if you can. It's like uh, an online competition where people build websites for clients, and uh, the person that wins it basically or the the winner wins a contract uh, or money in the pot for that design. So basically it's like spec work, but it really helps you uh, in regards to your own design work. So uh, usually when I get a client um, and they've paid their uh, deposit and they've signed the contract, I create a folder for them on my uh, desktop. Actually, I don't. I create it on my um, hard drive, but just to... Uh, my external hard drive that is um just to make things a bit easier i'm just going to create a folder here called mobile and in this folder just to so then we start off on the right track um i'm going to create another couple more folders one of them uh called assets and in here is where all my slices will go for my fireworks um document this one will be ui this will be uh, sorry the next one will be ui and that's where all my original uh, fireworks documents will go. The next one is images and that will be where all my stock images, original stock images will go and the next one is documentation and that will be content where documents that um, the client has given me that would be where all my contracts would be um, and I would usually have another folder as well called backups um, but I'm not going to add that right now because we don't really need it. So this will help you um, to make sure that you do this on every single project that you have because it will help just organize everything. So right now I'm going to save this document, this whole document, uh, as a Fireworks um, extension in my uh, UI folder. And that will save as a PNG. But don't get confused with the standard PNG that has like a transparent background. This is um, a file, this is basically the same as what a PSD would be. So it would still have all its layers in it and stuff like that. Um, but you know, if you try to open up this document in Photoshop with the PNG, it would just open up as a, as a PNG. Okay, so now I'm also going to save this as a Photoshop document. You don't have to, but it's always good to sort of like have a little bit of a backup. And if you wanted to give this design to another designer uh, or a developer or whoever, and they don't use fireworks, which most of them don't, then you can always give it to them as a Photoshop document. So it's super great, super easy. It can um, bounce from one program to another without hardly any errors or problems so um basically just to recap in this tutorial you're going to learn about how you slice your design you're going to learn how to export your slices into the appropriate formats you're going to learn some basic techniques on using headway and i'm also going to recommend you some great plugins for this particular design so make sure you stay tuned subscribed um and i hope you learn a lot from this tutorial all the best See you on the other side.